My name is Yvonne Pereira Martins, and I'm here today to talk about biodiversity. But what does biodiversity mean? When we talk about biodiversity, we are talking about nature, the richness of genes, species, and habitats, both on land and in the sea. Biodiversity is about the food we eat, the wine we drink, the medicines we need, the landscapes we cherish. European terrestrial biodiversity is unique. Uh, more than in any other continent, European species and habitats have evolved over centuries in response to the way we farm and manage our land. But we are putting a lot of pressure on these systems. For example, global demands for agricultural products are estimated to increase by 70% by 2070. This will require more farmland and more intensive farming practices resulting in less space for nature and more demand on water resources. Crops naturally depend on insects to pollinate them. Bees are one of the most important pollinators, but they are in decline. In recent years, this loss has cost the EU 22 billion euros a year, according to recent studies. Of the 68 species of bumblebees present in Europe, a quarter are threatened with extinction. There are almost countless ways we rely on these ecosystem services provided by nature. We now live longer lives than ever before, largely due to the advances in medicine. Yet, many medicines, even if they are now chemically produced, would not be possible without plant species. Worldwide, about a billion people rely on fish as their main source of animal protein. And it is an important food source for many more. In Europe, about 30% of assessed fish stocks were being fished beyond safe biological limits at the turn of the century. Globally, biodiversity is now being lost at an alarming rate. In Europe, we see these trends in the birds, butterflies and amphibians, for example. More than half of Europe's most important species and habitats are in an unfavorable conservation status. But some things give me hope. For example, some species that were once threatened are coming back. Part of this success has been due to conservation efforts. In Europe, we have more than 100,000 protected areas covering more than a fifth of its land area. Europe's Natura 2000 and Emerald networks are unique in the world, forming an international coordinated network of protected sites. This means there is for sure a protected area near you. We are all part of biodiversity. It's about the well-being of our children and grandchildren. It's about food and climate security. This means it is vital to protect and restore natural ecosystems on land and sea.